Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're gonna be taking a look at JotForm form, embedding it in our website with a hidden tag integrated with MailChimp so that on the MailChimp side, based on that tag, we can send out an automation. Let's get started. Before we get started, if you're not familiar with JotForm, please go check out this video first and then come back to this one. In that video, I explain all about the JotForm form builder. So let's get started here. We're gonna create our form. So I'm already logged into JotForm. Click on create form. And we're gonna use, uh, let's just use a template. You can start from scratch or import a form. We'll use a template. It doesn't matter for this example. Uh, it could be a numerous different things that they have here, uh, request form, booking form, application form. Uh, we're going to do a contact form to keep it simple. And uh, let's see, we will choose this one, contact us form, use template. So this is a simple contact form. Then once we're done, we're going to embed it on our website, fill it out. And then in this form, we're going to add a unique hidden tag. So let's go do that now. The first thing we do is we're going to go over to add element on the left, go down to uh, single choice. So for our question, we're just gonna call this tag. And for our option here, we're gonna click on the little properties like that. Go to the advanced tab. We're gonna have it selected by default. We're gonna hide that field and then the option that we'll put in here is contact. Okay, there we go. So we have our tag, we have it pre-checked, we have our name in there as contact for our tag. So that's all we have to do for design-wise. In this demo, obviously you can add in a lot more to this, you can add different color in the background, you can add in different fields, you can have it wider, a whole bunch of different things that you can do. Um, but for this, we're just gonna keep it nice and simple. So the next thing we do is go to settings and we're gonna click on the integrations and we'll go down to email, click on MailChimp, click on authenticate, build this out. There we go, username, password, click on allow. Select your list. Now, there are two choices you have here you, for the tags option. You can do static tags. It already recognizes tags that are already in MailChimp. So we can do ebook freebie or the tag. We can check either one of those or both. But we wanna do a dynamic tagging. So we'll do dynamic tag. We'll select our radio option field, which is tag. And then for information to go up to MailChimp, we'll just keep it that way. Just keep the email for now. And you have an option here to always send contacts to MailChimp or have the option to, if only the user agrees to do that. And then you also have another option here to update existing contacts, which is important because if someone fills out your contact form and they're already an audience, you wanna update them to add this tag to their contact information. And you also have an option here to send an opt-in email just to confirm that the person is an actual person. We're gonna keep everything to default. We're gonna click on complete integration, click finish, and then we'll click publish. Now you have different ways in which to share this form. You can uh, link it, you can invite people, and then you can also embed, which is what we're gonna do. So we're gonna copy this code, click copy, go over to our website, put this in, and then fill out the form. So here we are on my contact page. I'm gonna click the blue plus button and we'll put in a custom HTML block and paste in our JavaScript. Click on preview. So that's what it's gonna look like and click on update. Then we'll view the page and then we'll fill out the form. and click submit. And here's our thank you message. Now let's go check out what's over on MailChimp. So here we are, here's the email we just filled out and here's our new tag called contact. Now from here in other videos I have shared, you can do an automation, you can do a journey. 
so that whenever a person fills out that contact form, they get an automated email back saying, thank you, we'll respond as quickly as we can with your request, something like that. Or you could send them through an automation series if you have a paid plan. So there you go, guys. Thanks so much for watching. If you like this video, make sure you click the like. And if you're new to the channel, make sure you click the subscribe button because this is the type of videos that we share on the channel. And don't forget to click that little bell icon so that you get notified immediately when a new video goes up on the channel. Take care, and I'll see you in the next video.